Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my tech vault. And today we're going to be building the world's smallest GPU cooler. Now, we did a video, of course, we did one with the world's smallest CPU cooler, and we used a combination of heat sinks, super fast, uh, super loud fans, super small fans to uh, cool the processor down. And uh, since processors and GPUs both have different TDPs, um, we're going to be going with a much smaller card for this time um, so that we can actually get a much smaller cooler. So the goal for this video, of course, is to get the smallest GPU cooler. Now, obviously what this comes with is, um, this is actually a Quadro. I don't even know the, what the shroud on it was. Um, but this is a very low profile sh uh, Quadro. Um, it's basically doesn't even have any external um, power. Um, and it pretty much just takes all its power from the, um, I don't know, PCIe slot. So, this is what we're going to be using, and this is what we're going to be building a cooler for. Now, um, I'm going to be using a combination of my super small but loud and high airflow fans, um, a much smaller chipset heatsink, um, and then I'm also going to be using um, some individual RAM uh, heatsinks as well to kind of keep those cool because obviously when you're doing a cooler we're mostly focused about building the world's smallest uh, GPU cooler but we're not we also want to make sure that the RAM stays cool as well uh, so that's also going to be something we're going to make heatsinks or use heatsinks for but mainly the main uh, kind of goal here of course is going to be the physical um, cooler for the die itself. So without further ado, let's get into kind of seeing what my first designs are and what we got from there. So here's what we're looking at from just a quick standpoint um, of a rough estimate. I'm going to get the sucker started and turned on, but you guys can definitely hear how loud this sucker really is. Um, but also, this is kind of the, uh, looks actually kind of cool. We got the RAM modulars, mod, oh, sorry, modulars, modules cooled. And um, basically, uh, the cooler itself doesn't have any uh, contact with the RAM modules. Um, but I just like to keep them cool. Um, this cooler I'll of course mount in there, um, or not, you know, we don't really need to do that. Um, in particular, we're just trying to go for the smallest, um, I guess, heat sink uh, possible. Um, but we'll just get this, turn this on, spin this up, and we'll see where we go from there. So here we are with the test of the cooler. Um, I'm going to leave it running for um, a couple minutes um, after we get this started. Uh, make sure everything stays cool. Um, obviously we'll see how temperatures work, but these fans are pretty loud, so let's get into uh, putting the system up and uh, seeing how it goes. So overall, here's the design. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, but the thing actually ended up popping off. Um, so I ended up using tape instead, um, but that had a really obnoxious sound and it really ruined the audio. So we're just going to use this. So basically what I went through and did is I tested the... Um, this Put it under like a mid-range stress test, kind of like just using regular applications, uh, you know, Chrome, all that stuff. Um, recommendations though, um, this is not something you want to put under extreme stress because of course this is a super small cooler and we're going for the super small idea and um, it's not going to be great when you start stress testing this or putting this under a heavy load, which is kind of the same reason. We, we set out in this video to build a cooler that is just a very baseline very bare minimum uh, cooler and if we want to see something maybe like a full end cooler maybe something that keeps it cool 100% we really would have to actually have a higher budget for this so the rule is of thumb is if this video gets 100 uh, likes on this um, there'll be enough interest that I'll feel like I'll actually spend a little bit of money on this and design something that we can actually put on here that would keep it cool 100% um, obviously with the world's smallest CPU cooler we're going for something that's bare minimum as small as possible, but if we wanted to have something that would keep it cool 100%, then of course we'd have to go through um, at 100% load and actually have to go through and design something a little bit more, um, what's the right word, intense I guess. Um, but if you're interested in checking out the CPU video where we built this really small CPU cooler, maybe check that out. Also, uh, check out my channel for other cool talk related news, reviews, builds, etc. And uh, pardon my uh, my voice, and I guess I'm, I'm a little stuffy at the moment because pollen is out at the moment and it is spring. And oh boy, uh, do I have some allergies. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, 